Finally, the South African Rand had continued its upward trend in early trading on Friday, influenced by lower than expected U.S. inflation figures. This has led to speculation that the Federal Reserve may consider cutting interest rates in September. The rand was trading at 17 rand and 98 cents against the dollar, showing a 0.2% increase from its previous close. The U.S. inflation situation has been showing signs of improvement recently, and comments from Fed Chair Jerome Powell earlier this week hinted at the possibility of rate cuts depending on economic data. Additionally, the rand, like many other emergency market currencies, is affected by both local and international economic indicators. For more analysis on the current market dynamics, we turn now to Gabriela Tulem, FNB Portfolio Manager. Another positive week uh, comes to an end as we see the All Share Index Hovering around that uh, all-time high mark, we're trading close to the 81,000-point mark on the broad index, all suggesting that there is still enthusiasm for investments uh, at this particular point within the investment community. Um, the <clears throat> Despite the weakness that we've seen from the mining, which uh, was on the back of weak mining data, uh, other industrials have benefited um, and lifted the index up to this current level. It is at all-time highs, but it's uh, really struggling to break a little bit higher at this particular point. So the week was quite interesting in that we had manufacturing data, which showed a decline of about 0.6%, this being for the month of May. Uh, so that came in weaker than expected. And uh, mining production as well, for also for the month of May was flat, also suggesting that there wasn't too much activity. And if one was to recall, May was quite uh, a, a quiet front on the economic side. Next week, we look out for retail sales. Those will also give us clues as to the state of the consumer in this country and uh, give us clues as to what the GDP numbers would look like.